Hey, I'm Dave, and we are here with our buddies from New Agorist Beer Company. I'm Alexander. And I'm Aaron. And we're going to take a look at the community submitted designs for the Tap Handle Challenge to see who wins some awesome prizes. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming out and helping to host this design challenge. So New Agorist threw in some swag and some awesome things for the winners of this design challenge. And... Ultimaker helped us out. So the winner, the first place winner is going to get an Ultimaker 2 Plus Extended. Glorious little machine. Mm -hmm. Second prize is going to get a Pulse. And then third prize gets some Matter Hackers gift cards. And all those winners also get some hats and shirts or something from New Agars. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so awesome. yeah, we put together a package of a shirt, a hat, and a special edition mug for each winner. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the submissions from the community, from you guys, to see how they fit functionality, the design, your guys' branding, printability, like all these considerations that make 3D printing right here. awesome. Okay, so the rules were that it needed triangles, mm -hmm. your logo in 3D, slots for visible cards. That's so you guys can index the different stuff, right? Right. Correct. The different brews. Uh, a see-through design, structurally sound. I think what I think structurally sounds, I'm like, all right, when I grab this and pour one, is it gonna, you know, end up in my hand or not? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we printed SLA before and a very intricate design, and that that happened. If you yes, know. so I'm sure we, it don't, did. we don't want to repeat that mistake. Well, it seems like most of these are FDM, so it should be a little bit more robust, like mm -hmm. fused plastic designs. Yeah, right, great. All right, we've got Brandon Maxi. That one. Oh, that's the one we've got right here. Yeah, we have well, a... Let's, yeah, let's take a look at this. I think it's a little tinier. We had to scale it down to okay. print it out pretty quick, but nice. Yeah, definitely has a really cool see-through design. I think it's probably sturdy enough. And I like the fact that it has the placard insert on all sides. So mm -hmm. no matter which spot you are at the bar, you can still see it. All right, we got this one right here. Now this one is interesting. It, it really is visually uh, very attractive from every angle. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit chunky, but kind of don't mind it. Yeah, me either. And so if you look at the, some of these that are printed actually yeah. in the lighter, I think the black may have mm -hmm. it be chunkier than, than some of these uh, lighter colored ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love the use of the triangles and how it creates that pattern. Yeah, it's got this kind of like organic, low poly type of pattern going on, mm -hmm. which makes it really interesting from every angle. Nice big uh, spot right here for the for the placard. It's like the mm -hmm. Fortress of Solitude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's totally. very, very Marvel. Uh, like and that. they even compared our original design right there. Oh, but I like you that. See that? So they, mm. they took that into consideration, how much money, whoa, man, they they went all out. <laughs> they did their homework. Oh my God. Yeah, $15 versus about a dollar. I can actually tell you it was more than $15. <laughs> well, there you go. There's that squiggly one. <laughs> <It's saving laughs> approximately. Yeah, approximately. Times two. Three. They yeah, definitely stand out in the bar. Definitely. We have a contender. Dale Schneider. Oh, that is cool. All right. They oh, use yeah. some kind of... Uh, a beautiful Corinthian column. Yes negative space to discover your, you know, logo. your classical architecture i do yeah i definitely like the classical feel of it and it's kind of uh, distressed and broken down with the uh triangles coming out of the, the yeah that's a bit. nice touch i just i again this is another one i'm like how is how easily is it printed you that one would have to be printed upside down i assume so the, uh, there's a lot of tricks that you can pull. Like if you split this, so print this, that's no problem, and then print this kind of flipped upside down, no problem, and join mm -hmm. them together later. Mm -hmm. So think of it as maybe an assembly and then a single print itself. Like mm -hmm. uh, you could save certainly some efficiencies and not have to use support materials. Mm -hmm. Okay. I wonder how that looks awesome. Distress portion, if it wraps around the entire thing, mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. We got uh, the actual models of, of all of these, right? The, yeah, well, the STLs, yep, cool. The Bottolo. Bottolo, Botello. We'll go with Bottolo since, you know, <laughs> sounds like we're beer. talking about beer. I like the use of the triangles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's clever use of triangles and negative space. Yeah, it's an interesting shape. You can tell where the uh, 
placard slips in. Mm -hmm. Throwing some yellow in here, throwing the placard with some color in there, and then maybe even highlighting a couple of these tessellations. You could do a lot. Yeah, definitely. It's very visually interesting. Um, I like the, the two big see-through portions of it as opposed to a lot of little ones. It's an interesting take on it. Well, from this angle, it looks solid. From this angle, mm -hmm. it looks very sparse. Yeah, I do like the, the see-through on that one as well. All right, bottle nice, oil. Nice shapes, bottle oil. We did. Lucas Kaiser. Cool, got it right here. Let's see this. All right, another Fortress of Solitude. I like it. It's cool, it's all faceted with, with the triangles. Mm -hmm. I like how that came yeah. out. We've got the uh, placard inserts, two of them, one mm -hmm. on each side, and the sort of um, like, like Parthenon or Pantheon or one of those two. But yeah, I do like the Fortress of Solitude organic kind of rock-like shape. But if you made yeah. like a quick design modification to make the A's instead of up here, like on the sides. Yeah. That could be mm -hmm. a little bit more uh, on point with your branding. Or yeah. perhaps the ape, the roof of it, a little bit more apex so you can see them from all sides. Mm -hmm. Taller, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. Oh yeah, this is Salvador Merlot. 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 It's cool, right. the, the alternating A's that are happening down here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they really uh, went all out with the with the A to showcase the logo. I do like that. Placard up top, it's the best place for it. Most visibility. It's a little bit on the small side, um, but... Yeah, it looks strong. You can survive the, uh, the slap, the slap pull. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's good. Awesome, wow. We had hundreds of people submit their designs. We only had time to look at a couple of these that were handpicked to kind of make it to the next level. Now we will deliberate and we'll come back with a couple winners. One eternity later. All right, we have come back and made decisions. I think we made some pretty good ones. Yeah, it was a, it was a tough journey going through all of them. There were some really great designs. Uh, there, was, there was a little bit of strife among the group trying to figure out which one it was going to be or which three what it was going to be. Out. Exactly. Yeah, we took the STLs, we looked at them, we, we looked at like the full renderings of uh, like considering their printability. Your guys, like it's, it's your brand. So mm -hmm. this is, uh, you guys led the charge on really like who you want to talk to to make an iteration for the next design and, and maybe talk a little bit about your plans for what you're doing with all these tap handles. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the, uh, the goal with all of this is that we're gonna be building out a catalog of different tap handle designs so that when we go to a new, uh, a new retailer that's gonna take our beer on, they can choose different designs to use. So I think we might end up using all top through our top three yeah for our tap handles in the field and that's kind of why you guys wanted the insert was to be able to identify the beers that have come in and you can choose any tap handle for any one of those and still have kind of a brand identity from far away that's so, right exactly so with that drum roll uh we have a number three the winner of the matter hackers gift card and a bunch of the swag is Salvador, spoiler yes. alert to our <laughs> yeah, my it's left on <laughs> view here. Yeah. yeah, so Salvador, good job. We were very pleased with this design. Um, you know, we really liked the interplay of our logo throughout. The see-through aspect of it is really nice. Uh, I think it's going to be really beautiful from every angle. And um, you know, just a few small changes we'd like to see, mm -hmm. but uh, overall, yeah. very pleased with it. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Salvador. And with that, we have the winner of number two, who's winning the Pulse 3D printer and a bunch of the new Agarist swag is Lori. Yeah, this one was really cool. Once we all, once we saw it uh, in 3D uh, in the STL model, from all angles, this thing really has presence. And from one side, it's solid, and then from the front, it's see-through. Uh, and just sort of like that solid crystalline structure I really liked. You can imagine yeah, walking into a bar and like really identifying it. Mm -hmm. And this will compete 
and stand out amongst all the other wooden handles or molded handles. I think this will really showcase the uh, potential that 3D printing actually has. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. Good job, Lori. Cheers to Lori. All right, and number one, the winner of the Ultimaker 2 Plus Extended. It was a, it was a tough decision. Very tough. It was a lot of good designs, but one of them did stand out with so many design considerations, some integrated electronics, and that is Jeff. Yeah, Jeff Hughes took the cake. Nice job, Jeff. Yeah. Yeah, we really love how it's recognizable from every angle. The uh, placard insert area is large and we can showcase the style of beer. And then just, you know, to top it off, the, the tilt activated LED is a sweet touch. Should be integrated into all of the tap handles, frankly. Yeah. Try to do that cool. on a wooden tap handle. <laughs> yeah. yep. Can't do it. All right. Not well, to Jeff. All right. Jeff. Thanks, Jeff. And we always have a bunch of design competitions. So check out for the next one at Matter Hackers. Uh, there's always something going on and a bunch of good prizes. And with that, I'll hand it over to these guys to figure out where you can find New Agorist. Yeah, please be sure to visit newagorist.com to figure out where you can get our beer, ASA double IPA, as well as some updates on the latest and greatest. Yeah, and you can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. That's where we post most often. Uh, so look for us at New Agorist. And uh, we also have a lot of great merch, such as these uh, 3D printed bottle openers, t-shirts. Uh, we're going to be releasing a line of coasters soon, 3D printed coasters, and uh, lots of really great stuff. I love that you guys are embracing the technology. That's so cool. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. We'll see you on the next one. All right. Thanks. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.